Hello, I'm Mike, and I'm going to show you how you can use Note 2 to sort through a batch of patient information, store it in the Notes, and skip the upload site in the process. And I'll use a feature that we call triage. Uh, this is my intake portion of Note 2, which is a, kind of like an inbox, and it's a starting point for a lot of the things that you will do with Note 2. In this case, I'm going to go to the plus sign up in the top right corner here, and I'm going to tell it that I want to upload a batch of new patient information. It happens to be information I scanned in from a fax machine. I'm going to tell it where I want it to go. So I can send it to Joy or Sandy. I, in this case, I want it to go to my intake because I'm going to work on it immediately. I give it a name. We'll call it a fax batch. And I could drag and drop files into here, or I could just click that. It brings me up a directory, and I select new faxes that were scanned for upload. And I tell it I want to upload and triage. So the, the PDF document that was scanned gets loaded into Node 2. And I can see by looking at the left-hand side that there was nine pages in that PDF. And I can look on the right-hand side and see what those pages consisted of and who they were associated with. So in this case, page one was associated with Janice Doe. All right, so now let me start to organize this. I'll create a new message, which is basically creating a place where I can put the documents for Janice. And I'm going to send it to my intake when it's done. And I'm going to give it a message subject, and we'll just call it fax records, since that's what they are. And we'll put Janice's name in here for easy reference later on, and we'll go ahead and create that. And then on the message, I create an attachment, which is where I'm going to put the documents. So the first one's for Janice. I know that. I'll mark it. Let me look at the second one. And that one's for Janice as well. we'll uh, another one for Janice. We have three for Janice so far. Next one is for Michael Patient. So we've got a new one. So the first three were for Janice, and no two was keeping track of how many I was checking. So it's saying up here, you've got three. I'm going to move those three where to? Well, we'll move them to Janice Doe and stick them in the attachment. All right, and that shows up here. So three and nine work through. Let's go with four. Now the next one's for Michael Patient. So we're going to go ahead and create a new message for Michael because we've got a different patient, and we're going to call this one Fax Records again. And then we're going to... There we go. Put the name in there. Instead of checking the box over here, I'll show you a different way. I'm just going to create the attachment, and then I'm going to drag the, uh, the page up there. So page four is for Michael. Page five is for Michael. Drag that up there. Page six is also for Michael. And page seven, it's oh, a good example. Page seven is actually a blank sheet of paper that went through the scanner, came out of the fax machine. Uh, we don't need that. don't need to store that. So we'll just check the box and tell no two to delete it. We've got two left. Let's see who these last two are for. Uh, Janice Doe. We're back to Janice again. And uh, the last page, and I think, is going to be for Janice as well, if I remember. Yep. So we've got the last two for Janice. I can just go right into this menu and say, move all those pages to Janice Doe. So now I've got Janice with two attachments, three pages and two pages, and then Michael with one attachment of three pages. So I'm all set. I've triaged myself through that document. Now I'm going to say, go ahead and submit. When I submit that, it's going to go where I told it to go before, which is into my intake. So back to my intake, I see the first one, fax records, and this was for Michael Patient. So let me process this a little bit more so that we can get it stored into Iconotes. Michael's name's already there. Now I know Michael's birthday is October 24th of 1968, and I know Michael's a male, and I know that this document type is a patient record, so I'll select from my menu here. And we're all set. So I'll go up here. I'll say save that information. It's everything I need to have it stored automatically into Iconotes. And then I'll click this little cloud here, which is basically saying that I've marked it and I want it to be uploaded to Iconotes automatically. And you can see the little message awaiting download. So it's, uh, it's, it's all ready to go. I'll go back to my intake and I'll work through the, uh, the package for Janice here. So Janice uh, has a different birthday. Her birthday is June. 12th of 1980, and she's a female. And the first document type were labs, and we're all set with that. And the second set of documents were patient records. So I'm able to indicate for each one of those uh, batches, those attachments, what type of documents they were so that they'll uh, store appropriately in Iconotes. So I save that, I'll mark that for upload with my little cloud icon here. And that's all there is to it. At this point, the documents are in a location where they'll be automatically uploaded into Iconotes. 
Okay, obviously you recognize this. It's the Iconote system, and the great thing about the integration between Iconotes and Note 2 is that every time you open up the chart room, the two systems automatically synchronize, and any information that was designated for upload uh, from Note 2 will automatically be retrieved by Iconotes and pushed into the patient record. So you can upload without having to go through the upload site. No manual work. It's all automated, and it's all based upon the integration between the two systems. Uh, just to wrap it up with Node 2, I want to show you the, uh, uh, the indication that everything's happened um, the way that it should have. So if I go back to my intake, I can come over to the filters area here and I can say, just show me all the stuff that's been processed. And so all the messages in, into my intake are the ones who have been processed. And let's just look at this one for Janice Doe. I've got a green indication that says it's been processed, so green is good in this case. And if I open up that message, the cloud that was yellow when I marked it for download uh, is now green. And that's, uh, again, green is good. And it says the message has been downloaded. So it's up in the IconNote system. It's there automatically. And everything is good on the Node 2 side.